Government has called for a multifaceted and an all-inclusive integrated approach to promote sustainable diet for all in the country. Minister of Community Development and Social Services Emerin Kabanshi says coordination is a very cardinal in talking in tackling the challenge of undernutrition and overnutrition in Zambia and therefore requires concerted efforts from various stakeholders to invest significantly in better nutrition. Officiating at the first ever substantial Sustainable Diets for All Media Award Ceremony organized by Hivo Southern Africa and their consortium partners at the International Institute of Environment and Development, um, Ms. Kabanshi says it is uh, taking seriously it, Ms. Kawansi says she is taking seriously all interventions from stakeholders that contribute to, to improved nutrition. She says government recognizes and appreciates efforts such as those by Hivos and IIED to promote sustainable diets for all programs, which endeavors to draw attention of stakeholders and the public to the dangers of monocropping and mono diets, which have so far contributed to the serious nutritional challenges currently experienced. Ms. Kabanshi has, however, observed the need to invest in nutrition as this is very cardinal in achieving the sustainable development goals. More in the following report. Zambia is facing its worst malnutrition rates in 15 years as nearly 30,000 children are in urgent need of treatment for severe malnutrition. According to the current statistics prepared by Food and Agriculture Organization, International Fund for Agricultural Development, and World Food Program, between 2014 to 2016, Zambia is among countries in Africa with the highest levels of starved children at 48%, while about 20% of Zambian women are sporting heavy bodies. This situation is slowly worsening into a national crisis because this means that one in three people suffer from malnutrition in some form. Malnutrition has, however, traditionally been associated with children who are starving, have standard growth, and are prone to infection. This is why HIVOS, a non-government organization, is promoting the Sustainable Diets for All in the country. Sustainable Diet for All is an advocacy program that uses evidence, including evidence generated by citizens to help low-income communities in Zambia, Uganda, Indonesia, and Bolivia improve their access to sustainable, various, and nutritious food. He was Southern Africa for Zambia, Advocacy Officer for Sustainable Diets, William Chilufia, shares more. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you will agree with me that our food systems, our diets, the food that we're eating today is not giving us the desired health outcome. What we have seen is that the food that we're eating today is producing malnutrition, is producing stunting, the food we are eating today is producing overweight and obesity. The non-government organization has since bidded farewell to the year 2017 by recognizing journalists who have contributed to championing sustainable diet for all in their reporting. We are aware in Hippos and IED that there are so many different approaches um, to getting a food system that would contribute to better health outcomes for Zambia. The Sustainable Dance for All Awards you will be witnessing uh, today is just one of the ways. These awards will be recognizing stakeholders whose efforts are contributing significantly uh, to improving Zambia's food system. In the recent years, HIVOS has been working with other civil society organizations in order to champion sustainable diet for all thereby promoting eating patterns that look at the impact that food consumption has on global resources and health of humans. Civil Society for Poverty Reduction Executive Director Patrick Shindano feels that the current situation requires urgent thought. So we have been working in that line and we hope to continue. And a lot of successes have been scored in the short period of time that we've partnered with HIVOS and we hope to anchor that partnership uh, and strengthen it with uh, different line ministries, specific agriculture and Minister of Community Development. Minister of Community Development, Emarin Kalanshi, graced the occasion. These awards are a demonstration of how government and its, its partners 
such as HIVOS and IED, appreciate stakeholders' efforts around improving the food system and further encourages more involvement in securing a healthy future for all. Ladies and gentlemen, finally, I would like to challenge the media that more still needs to be done for the public to be sensitized in the food and nutrition in Zambia. My challenge to you, members of the press, is to be the prime movers in promoting good health among our Zambian citizens. Among the journalists who were awarded are this reporter, Sarah Zulu of Times of Zambia, Father Film editor, Ivan Sinjela, and Hotel Film managing editor, Richard Peary. I get concerned when I look at uh, the numbers of people who are stunted. I get worried. What is it that we need to do? I'm glad that um, the passion that we have as a newsroom at Hotel is is paying back. This award is not only going to motivate me, but my reporters as well to also report more on sustainable foods. And what motivates me to write about nutrition and sustainable diets, it has to do with the larger number of and nourished children. Indeed, coordination is very cardinal in tackling the challenge of undernutrition and overnutrition in Zambia and therefore requires concerted efforts from various stakeholders to invest significantly in better nutrition. Favorite calendar report and for QTV News in Osaka.